Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and one of the things that I love about working with Stampin' Up! Supplies is that everything coordinates. So you can grab your stamp sets, you can grab your designer series paper, you can grab your coordinating embellishments, everything matches, which makes it really easy to put together projects like this one, which is the sampler frame art project. I love putting these together and this is one of my favorites. This one happens to be a Stamps the Mail Club project for January, so you can grab your kit and put this one together with me in a second. But I'll also give you some great tips for how to mix and match your pieces to put projects like this together um, with whatever you have on hand. So grab your um, Stamps Meal Club kit if you're going to put this one together. I'll also give you tips for how to make these freestanding frames. And we will get stamping. There are a zillion and five pieces with this little kit, so don't lose all these pieces that I've die cut for you. I'm gonna start off with the background of our sampler project. So I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna use Fast Fuse. I've got some on here already, because I really like the extra um, oomph of hold for this. So when I have an art piece that's gonna stand up for a while um, that I want to just be really strong, I grab my fast fuse so okay so I've lined up my pieces of my six by six inch square and this is going to be the base of our program then this is going to be the stand so for this um, you can kind of fold it freehand if you want to I tend to like to use my simply scoreboard and I'm going to place this at a diagonal here where I've got in one here I'll turn this straight for you I've got um, one vertical line that kind of goes from corner to corner, and if you're uh, off by a tiny bit, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna score like that, okay? And then fold on that score line. See how that's set? So that I have kind of this um, two triangle piece of uh, tag board. And this is actually just the backing paper from a designer series paper package, so don't uh, throw those away. I tend to use them for lots of stuff. And then I am going to go ahead and put adhesive on one section of this, so I'm going to put it on one triangle. So pick a triangle and add adhesive, okay? And if you do this first, you don't have to worry about which side is up or which side is down. Then I'm going to position as if this is just a full, um, you know, two inches or three inches, three inches across. I'm going to position it right in the middle and line up the top and just make it straight, okay? So don't worry about where the triangle runs, just make it straight, okay? Now, as if by magic, when you fold that triangle and flip it over, you have a stand that stands up, okay? Now you know where the top of your art is gonna be and where the bottom is because you wanna make sure you don't get it upside down now. Okay, so let's talk about our pieces. When I make sampler frames like this, and it's uh, I just love doing things like this um, because the Stampin' Up! pieces are so easy to mix and match, my first thing is always to pick out my pieces and kind of, um, just place them kind of where I think I'm going to want them to go. And sometimes I'll do something and think, oh, I don't know if I like the yellow in the middle. I think it looks better over here. Just lay stuff out so that you have an idea of where you are going to want to start. Okay. So my bottom corner here, I am going to use this little um, thumbs up stamp here and my uh, Daffodil Delight ink pad. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to give us a little thumbs up pattern here. I'm going to make sure some of them go off the sides of my cardstock. There we go. Okay. So now we have the thumbs up. So it's kind of a subtle background. I'm just going to clean that really quickly and then grab my Bermuda Bay. And here I have a die cut from the bottle set. And the, um, the bottles and bubbles framelit set have lots of really fun shapes, including this little thumbs up. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse stamp, which means put your stamp ink side up and kind of do that. So now we have our little piece there. And then I have a scallop circle punch. This is one of the new ones and it's of the um, glimmer paper. Woohoo for that. Love that stuff. Um, from the occasions catalog in the myths and magic series. So, all right. So here is a trick for you. I'm going to take a dimensional and pop it on the side. I'm going to have my piece hang over the edge here, all right, but you'll notice in my final one it doesn't hang over the edge. That's because I flipped it over and grabbed my snips and trimmed that little piece away. So one of the things that is great um, about this is it allows you to have repeated elements. And when you're putting these sampler frames together, repeated colors, repeated shapes, um, those are all really a great idea. Okay, so now to go ahead and adhere this, I'm going to put fast fuse on the back because Snail doesn't always love to stick to the glimmer paper. OK, 
Okay, so we've got that. And then we have a little greeting to add to this. So I have this little strip here. And this whole greeting is, may your day bubble over with happiness, blah, blah, blah. Lots of text there. All I really want is the happiness word. So I'm going to ink that up and go ahead and stamp it. Okay. And then I'm going to cut out just that little bit that I want. And this is a great way to use your stamps. Um, there you Stampin' Up! used to have in, in the olden days, <laughs> uh, back around the time of the westward, you know, Oregon Trail or whatever. Um, Stampin' Up! used to have stamp sets that had just a variety of single words, um, which is great, but really you don't need that. Your stamp collection has tons and tons of words in it. Just cut them out. Use them for whatever you're going to use and grab them from the stamp sets that you have. So, I mean, this stamp set has a bunch of words. That is kindness, refreshing, thank you, yay, um, day, bubble, happy, birthday, brew. I mean, taken apart those are all words that you can use for all kinds of fun things okay so we have our first um uh, first square done there so next square this one's just going to get some sequins this one and this one are all set this one's going to get some sequins this one however has some pieces from our pile o pieces so here's our piece for the center and i'm going to give this a yay uh so i have a piece of whisper white cardstock that's been punched as a three-quarter circle I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in Calypso Coral on our circle. There we go. And then that gets attached on the front. So we'll pop that down there. Okay, and then there's a little ribbon embellishment on the back. And I'm going to um, show you that. It's really simple. It's actually kind of a Z shape. And I'm going to start by just putting a whole bunch of adhesive um, fast fuse on the back there. So I'm going to have my ribbon start off to the side here. And then I'm going to make a little loop on the side, let's see, so that it's going to stick out beyond our square. And then make another loop kind of on this side, have it fold back into the middle, and then have the ribbon come out at the bottom corner over there, okay? And then you can kind of trim the ends. So it's just a little bit of extra fun. It goes with a yay, right? And then, of course, a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm going to put two on the back. And that extra dimensional is going to help tra trap that ribbon on there so that it stays where I want it to stay. And then that's going to pop there on our center. Okay, um, let's see. We have some bubbles that are going to go up here at the top corner and then our piece down here. So we have our bottle to do and we have another center and we have a label. So first thing, I'm gonna grab this label here. Um, this is from the same Bubble Over stamp set. And I am going to stamp this here on the edge. It's actually, I think, easier for me to stamp this upside down, so I'll go ahead and do that. If your stamps, if your blocks were cleaner than mine, you might be able to do it the other way just fine. Okay, so there's our label. And then I have the bottle here. I'm gonna ink this in Calypso Coral. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean that on my Stampin' Scrub, and let's see, we'll make sure it's really clean. There we go. Now I'm going to ink it in Daffodil Delight, and go ahead and stamp here on my bottle. Okay, and there we go. I love photopolymer. And then uh, the label gets stuck on the front here. Okay, and then our little embellishment for the front is a star, and I'm going to go ahead and ink that in Calypso Coral and stamp that there on our circle. All right, and then that um, will pop up with a Stampin' Dimensional. So there's our little bottle embellishment, and the daffodil light color is reflected in the other pieces on our collage, our frame art. <clears throat> And then on the background of this, I actually went ahead. I really like this shape. Um, a lot of times if you have a fun element like this, you can use it as a repeated element to um, emphasize or like just to highlight like a pattern uh, or create a pattern. So this is going to be our background pattern. I'm going to go ahead and ink this here in Calypso Coral and stamp... Uh, some shapes kind of here and you can do them kind of as a regular recurring pattern or honestly you can do kind of a random pattern too um, just make sure you don't stamp on your bottle when you're getting carried away let's see okay so that gives us a fun background and I kind of think I'm going to turn it over this way I like the way that top of that came out okay and one more 
down there. There you go. When you do your patterns like this, you want to make sure they're coming off the edges of the cardstock. Don't worry too much about getting them lined up perfectly because they're going to get halfway covered up anyway. Um, a straw die cut here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add to our bottle and I'm just going to position it here where I want it um, and then pinch it with my fingers and then grab a Stampin' Dimensional or two to pop on the back and that will keep that straw in place where we want it. So let's add this to our final panel. I love when I'm doing sampler art to um, create double panels just to sort of mix up the shapes just a little bit. Okay, so there is that. And then remember we had this little um, repeated pattern piece. So I'm gonna put this um, just here kind of as a like sparkle beside the side of our bottle. Okay, so now this is um, the trickiest part of this is actually lining up the pieces. Okay, once you've taken the time to get that straight exactly where you want it, you're gonna take them off one at a time and pop a dimensional on the back, okay? So there's my first one, and I'm being really careful not to shake anything when I'm adding. Then your second one. And then the last step is to embellish, and that's how I really like to teach stamping, is stamp, layer, embellish. One, two, three. Stamp, layer, embellish. So I'm going to grab my embellishments here, um, which are included with your Stamps and Mail Club kit, and you get um, a half a package unless you upgrade and get the full the full-on glitz upgrade. So I'm gonna grab some of these yellow um, sequins here, and let's see, how about a blue one to go down here. I love these 2D fruity. You probably heard me talk about them already. I have some of our, uh, some of these cute little um, clear, clear and glitter epoxy shapes, and you can use your fingernails to apply those, or you can use your um, paper snip tips is a great way to do them too. So I have some sparkles up there. And let's see, I think we need some green. Add some green of the Tutti Fruity sequins down here. So I, again, love how Stampin' Up! makes it so easy to mix and match the colors and the shapes with the designer series papers and so forth. Um, you really can't go wrong when they give you all the pieces and you just have to mix and match them to make fun art. So there is our fun sampler art frame with a super easy easel back. And I look forward to stamping with you by mail. If you haven't ordered your kit yet, I still have a couple kits left for this January one. Uh, make sure you email me soon. Um, website is loveandstamps.com and all the pieces come pre die cut and ready to go for you. So um, you even get the inks and the stamps or if you already have the inks and the stamps, it's no big deal. You can pick something else from the Stampin' Up! catalog to get as product and set. It's very very flexible for actual so you'll stamp something when you get your supplies. I just want you to really love what you're doing. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to sharing another project with you soon. Happy stamping!